Have you ever seen a plant that literally shoots beans when it's touched? How about a carnivorous plant known to literally eat animals and insects? Some plants out there have incredible killer instincts and others are downright dangerous. Today we're going to show you 21 of the deadliest plants on the planet and look at the incredible things they're known to do. We even have one that can, believe it or not, eat lizards. You might want a killer garden. But these bad boys are probably too risky to keep around the house. Stick around for the video and you might learn why. Make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe with post notifications turned on for more amazing videos just like this. Now, let's get into it. Venus Flytrap One of the most famous on today's list, you've probably heard of the Venus Flytrap's incredible skills. This beautiful flowering plant is best known for its insane carnivorous habits. The trap in question is made of two hinged lobes at the end of each leaf. The inner surface of these lobes have hair-like projections called trichomes. This causes the lobes to snap suddenly when any prey comes into contact with them. They're considered pre-renal carnivorous plants and can live up to 20 years in the wild. While most of their energy is still obtained through photosynthesis, like most plants, insects provide extra nutrients not readily available in the soil. Foxglove With its gorgeous, bright, unique blooms, the foxglove plant will surprise you with just how dangerous this flower really is. The plant produces digoxin, an ingredient in medications that prevents heart failure, meaning by ingesting foxglove, you're pretty much taking an unregulated dose of heart medication. This somewhat ironically can cause actual heart failure. In any case, it's best to keep this plant far, far away from curious children and nosy pets alike. White Snake Root White snake root is not a plant to be messed with. Even when touching this pretty white plant, it can be toxic. Though it is an accumulative toxin that takes time to build up. The leaves and stems of this plant contain trematol, a fat-soluble toxin that poisons the livestock consuming it and can pass into the milk of lactating animals. Nursing young animals as well as humans consuming the milk can be contaminated. Symptoms in humans include a loss of appetite, weakness, abdominal discomfort, abnormal blood acidity, nausea, a reddened tongue, and an accumulation of ketone bodies. It has a weedy nature, known to spread via underground rhizomes, making it hard to root out. It can also provide late-season food to bees, butterflies, and moss, and is only toxic to mammals. These killer plants continue to surprise and impress, all while surviving by doing what they've always done. From carnivorous creepers to the ones that are just as beautiful as they are toxic. Make sure you watch all the way through to see some of these incredible plants in their glory. American Pokeweed With a name like that, it doesn't sound terribly dangerous. Pokeweed almost sounds silly. However, pokeweed causes rashes and can, in large amounts, cause severe poisoning. Eating more than 10 uncooked berries can cause severe issues in children. Once used by Native Americans as a heart stimulant and narcotic, the plant has been shown to contain a protein shown to have a positive impact on HIV. When ingesting any part of the plant, it's best to assume it's not a good idea. All aspects of the pokeweed plant, especially the root, are poisonous. Severe poisoning has been reported from drinking tea brewed with the pokeweed leaves, or roots and wines or other foods incorporating the berry. Non-severe rashes from contact with the plant can usually be treated at home, similar to poison ivy with calamine lotion. Water Hemlock Like the poison hemlock, water hemlock has been deemed the most violent toxic plant in North America. It's a large wildflower in the carrot family that resembles Queen Anne's lace or is confused with the edible celery of parsnips. Instead, though, people are treated to something infused with deadly toxin, especially in the roots. It can generate nearly fatal symptoms with the potential to kill anyone unlucky enough to eat it. This causes painful convulsions, abdominal cramps, nausea, and death in those, and people who are afflicted but survive often live with amnesia or blasting tremors after. Castor Beans Generally grown ornamentally, the castor bean is an attractive plant native to Africa. The seed, once processed, are actually the source of castor oil but naturally do contain the poison ricin, which has been deadly even in small amounts. Only one or two seeds would kill even a small child, and eight could take down a healthy adult. Ricin toxin works by stopping the synthesis of proteins in your cells, which causes severe vomiting, diarrhea, seizures, and even death. 
This poison has been used in multiple fatal terrorism attempts over the years. Most fatalities are the result of accidental ingestion by pets or children. Oleander Oleander is a gorgeous shrub with brilliant blossoms dating back to ancient Rome. Despite its popularity as a hedge and ornamental plant, all portions of the oleander plant are poisonous and contain lethal cardiac glycosides known as oleodrine or nerorine. Oleander can cause vomiting, diarrhea, erratic pulse, seizures, coma, and death if consumed. And contact with the leaves and sap is known to irritate some people's skin. Toxins in oleander are so potent that humans have become unwell after consuming honey generated by bees that visited the blooms. Unfortunately, fatalities from oleander poisoning are uncommon because the plant is highly unpleasant, deterring anyone from trying the plant. Angel's Trumpet While botanists might tell you the nickname Angel's Trumpet comes from the flower's large, hanging, trumpet-shaped flowers, it really is hard not to imagine it's because of the trumpeting angels that will herald your arrival in the afterlife if you were to eat any part of this plant. These flowers can cause dangerous hallucinogenic symptoms like loss of consciousness and delirium. Ingestion of the Brunxmania is often fatal with its hazardous levels of the chemicals scopolime and atropine. No matter how pretty they seem, you're likely better off staying away. Witch's Berry You'd probably imagine it's more fitting into a potion than anything with a name like that, but these berries are even more dangerous than you'd think also known as Atropa bellandana, or deadly nightshade. The witch's berry is highly toxic when ingested and contains tropane alkaloids. They include atropine, scopolamine, and hysocomine, which cause delirium and hallucinations. It can be dangerous if you eat any part of the deadly nightshade, but even touching them can cause bodily harm. The plant can cause damage to the skin with cuts or other wounds, and it's advisable to wear gloves, even with intact skin when handling these dangerous plants. Wood Sorrel In suitable amounts, the wood sorrel would probably be considered perfectly fine. However, the poisonous substance in yellow wood sorrel are actually soluble calcium oxalates, otherwise known as oxalic acid. Any part of this plant, when ingested, can cause kidney failure and colic. If used, it should be used fresh and in small amounts. Unfortunately, this plant can be eaten and can lead to improper amounts being used over time, as is any plant in high doses of oxalic acid can be toxic over time. Mistletoe Once known solely as a festive decor piece, the mistletoe is actually quite the holiday menace. It can cause symptoms of extreme gastrointestinal upset and widespread poisoning in large amounts. Ingesting the berries of any variety can cause vomiting, seizures, slow heart rate, and even death. Unfortunately, this has caused some confusion as dangerous misconception arose that it produces euphoria when smoked. However, this is not true. In fact, the theory was developed by people who are already high, and the only euphoric feeling it can cause is that of the soul leaving your body. Devil's Helmet Aconitum, also known as Devil's Helmet or Wolfsbane, is widely regarded as one of the world's most dangerous plants, and it can be found in mountainous meadows all over the world. Aconitum is a plant that is exceedingly toxic to both people and animals. All parts of the plant, including the roots, have been shown to contain highly dangerous alkaloids and neurotoxins and cardiotoxins. Symptoms of poisoning appear pretty immediately. Nausea, violent vomiting, and diarrhea are the first followed by tingling and numbness of the tongue and face. Burning sensations in the belly are also prevalent and are usually accompanied by an inability to talk and irregular heart rhythms. Death would usually occur within two to six hours of ingesting the plant, which is to say when it's toxic, it acts fast. As a plant goes by many names, the aconitum is a powerful, pervasive plant that any good gardener would be able to recognize. Have you ever encountered this curious purple plant in the wild? We're about midway through today's video. Just a few more plants to go before we get to number one. Do you have any thoughts so far? Leave them in the comments now and let's get back into it. Manchinelle. Also known as the little apple of death, you probably want to stay as far away from these as possible. These tiny plants can be found off the coast of Florida and South and Central America and are known as one of the world's most poisonous trees. They have dangerous fruit growing on their branches, but the tree is also loaded with potent toxins and sap called porbol, a powerful skin irritant. 
contact with the sap provokes strong allergic dermatitis, which can cause blistering of the skin. This can present a risk for those looking to avoid rainy weather, which can cause those seeking shelter to get sprinkled with water droplets that have mixed with the sap. Only a tiny amount of the sap is needed to break the skin out in blisters, which is maybe not surprising, as it's known to also strip paint off unfortunate cars. Smoke from burning Manischel wood has even been known to cause permanent blindness. Divimbachia Also known as dumb cane, members of the genus Diffenbachia are made of cells containing minuscule, needle-shaped crystals of calcium oxalate, which are called rapides. The tiny spears typically lead to oral irritation when chewed and excessive drooling and swelling. This irritation can become so severe that the tongue, mouth, and throat will effectively be immobilized, and tissues become so swollen that the airway is blocked, leading to suffocation and death. While they are popular houseplants, they should be treated with the utmost care and wariness in households with curious children or pets running around. Rosary Pea these piously named seeds, sometimes known as jacordi beans, contain abrin, a highly lethal ribosome inhibiting protein. Rosary peas are tropical plants commonly used in jewelry and prayer rosaries. While the seeds are not poisonous when whole, they can be fatal if scratched, fractured, or chewed. It only takes three micrograms of abrin to kill an adult, which is less than the quantity of poison in one seed. It's reported that many jewelry makers have become ill or died after inadvertently pricking their finger while dealing with the seeds. Abrin, like ricin, inhibits protein synthesis within cells and can induce organ failure in four days. Yew Yew was once called the tree of death by ancient cultures, who would offer it to their death gods. There's a good reason, as this plant can be found in just about all corners of the earth and is dangerously toxic. Truthfully, no part of the plant is safe to ingest, as the toxins from all over can potentially cause cardiac arrhythmia or even stop your heart. Animals that often eat the plant can be found dead within 24 to 48 hours, as it acts fast. We only have five on the list left. Can you guess which incredible killer plants we have left? Put your thoughts and guesses down below in the comments. While you're down there, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below, because if you've liked this, we've got way more where that came from. Rodinodrin. With the hype around eating local honey, you might want to be careful of the sources. Honey made from the rhododendron plant is also known as mad honey, which comes for a good reason. Roman troops allegedly were the earliest cases of those poisoned with it, as they were so confused after ingesting the honey that they went into battle unprepared and were quickly defeated. Whether or not this tale is accurate, the mad honey in question has gotten a lot of coverage in recent years due to the nature spotlight and those seeking an exciting psychedelic might end up biting off much more than they can chew. Toxins found within the plant can cause confusion in those who ingest it, dangerously low blood pressure, and even death. Teddy Bear Kala Deserts aren't known for being remarkably safe, and neither are the animals or plants that live there. Beware of this cactus, though, more than any other plant in the desert. The teddy bear koala features vicious cactus spikes, sharp as glass and barbed like a fish hook. While these are not poisonous, they can be dangerous if they get deep into tissue, causing bruising and bleeding, or even cause the death of tissue beneath the surface. They're also known as jumping colas because if you get just a little too close to these barbed cactuses, a piece will break off and jump after you, effectively launching an attack at those they consider dangerous. The barbs are designed to catch onto animals, break off, and be carried far and wide for propagation and rooting into a new plant. This is why a deep stick would require needle-nose pliers to pull out. Best be aware. Himalayan Balsam Invasive and hardy, the Himalayan balsam causes unexpected issues within the areas they inhabit and are known to alter the behavior and composition of pollinating insects, which can have even further reaching results. Like Diffenbachia, the plant contains high amounts of minerals like calcium oxalate, which can be extremely harmful and toxic when raw. They grow in areas where the ground is bare and vulnerable to erosion and can cause other plants to die out due to their size and strength. It also alters the water flow of the surrounding area, which increases the risk of erosion and flooding. This plant is considered a problem weed, despite being highly sought after and attractive in flower gardens. Nepponese Laoji 
While there are over a hundred different species of the tropical pitcher, the Nepanese laoji takes the cake. It offers a reprieve to those looking for nectar, but this vibrant red plant is both tempting as it is deadly. Curious insects and small lizards and animals may bite off way more than they can chew when this carnivorous plant lures them in. Not considered dangerous to humans though, the pitcher plant makes a lovely, vibrant addition to a garden that will be a lot more pest free. We have just one more on the list, and rest assured this one is an exciting mess to behold. Did anything you learned today surprise you? Did you already know all these and think we missed an opportunity? Let us know and maybe you'll see your choice in a future video. If you want more unique, engaging, and sometimes downright wild content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for us. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss a single video. And the last one, the exploding cucumber. This hairy perennial herbaceous vine of the Cucarbaccia family grows in the Mediterranean region and is entirely toxic. All plant parts can be considered harmful, including the gherkin-like green fruits that grow. The thing about these plants is that there's more to them than just being toxic. It's known as the wild or squirting cucumber for a reason, as the fruits ripen and explode when they get to full size. Squirting cucumbers contain poisonous cubatians, which can be fatal if ingested. Due to the oddity of the plant, the toxic effects have not stopped many from growing these unique plants year after year. All right, well, that's it for today. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and hit that bell icon for more. We'll see you in the next one.